Okay, so yes, I decided to infiltrate myself in this session. I'm going to talk about something totally different. Uh, this is computer vision. Computer vision is this thing that we have learned for a long time that doesn't really work and people are trying really, really hard in having systems that recognize thousands of different objects, but nothing really works. But it's true that recently we have seen a lot of advances. Like now, you can have a device like a digital camera or a phone that is able to detect faces on real time. So there has been a huge amount of progress and it's a really exciting time for computer vision. And one of the things that we do is we try to build systems that can recognize many, many different kinds of different object categories. And one of the things that is key to building these kind of systems is to collect databases that provide us training data for building these systems. Um, so one of the first things that we did um, was in 2005, we created an annotation tool that lives online and people can go there and label different objects for us so that we don't have to work to do the work of labeling. So this is an example of the annotation tool um, on, uh, live. This is a, um, um, a snapshot of the tool. And this is somebody has gone there and labeled all these different things, like trees with all these different details. And this is people that get no money for doing these things. So they have a lot of free time, I guess. Um, so a few years later, we decided that you know, we were making so much progress, let's try to do everything. And we collected a huge database by going through an electronic dictionary, taking all the English words, and then going to Google and starting downloading images that corresponded to all the words that we had in that dictionary. We had those processes running for a year. Google didn't shut us down. Well, eventually they did. Um, and we collected something like 100 million images and we are building systems that can deal with all these things. And then now we are building an another database that also contains a lot, a lot of data. Um, so one of the advantages of having so much data is that now we can start building systems that can recognize many different object classes, not just faces. Um, so one interesting thing when you start working with so many different object classes is that you start having classes that look alike. Uh, for instance, let's say that for some reason you are interested in detecting deck chairs. Uh, well, deck chairs, maybe it's really hard to collect data for them, but they look alike other kinds of chairs, for which is a lot easier to collect data. So our, we are building systems that can transfer knowledge between different object classes. So this applies to general objects, but it can apply to other kinds of uh, imaging uh, applications. Uh, we also build models of human perception. So whenever you look at images, you are going to do uh, different kinds of eye movements, or you are going to have different memory tasks. Maybe you have an image and you have to remember if you've seen it before or not. Uh, and we're building models that are able to predict if you, when you look at an image, for instance, you will remember it or not, much better than what you think you will do. So sometimes we show you an image, you think you will remember it, but you don't. But we can predict if you will do it before better than you do yourself. And then you know, when we have so much data, we can build other kinds of applications that rely on the fact that well, you don't need to solve a really complicated problem. Maybe there are so many images that you can find other images that look like your input. And then your, whatever you decided for the other images is going to be the same thing as for the input. And you know, that also opens a new set of problems. So this is just a snapshot of some of the work by the computer vision group. Uh, I think there will be some more people later on, but you know, I decided to infiltrate myself in this session. So thank you.